Alright guys, he's Ink here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So, we have had a, I guess you would call it a bit of a surprise update, um, telling us about some new content that we're going to be receiving, and it's going to be actually coming out tomorrow. And it's a little bit more than maybe some of us were expecting, and I also think that potentially it gives us a little bit of an indication about some future updates that we may well still be waiting to receive before the anniversary. So let's go over what we know is coming tomorrow and talk about it. So if we go in here just now and we look at the patch notes, you can see that we are going to be having two new units dropping tomorrow. So we are going to have Taoist Gen. Now I may have pronounced that wrong right, but Taoist, I think that's like some kind of like Chinese monk or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but this is him. This is Taoist Gen. I'll make it not too big because I don't want to obscure the image too much. So I'll just make it about this size. So that's him. Um, don't know much about him. Not going to go in and look at TW because as it stands, I can't recover my TW account. So hey, the days of that are long gone. And we're also going to get School Girl Elena and her limited time trial. So I'll show you what she looks like. If we go here, bring this one, make it a little bit smaller. And you can see here, this is School Girl Elena. Now, if you ask me, Elena looks a little bit different, to be honest. Um, I don't know if it's because they've made her younger, they've given her longer hair, she looks a, li a little bit more light-skinned than normal. She doesn't look that much like Elena. She really reminds me of Black Cat for some reason. I said to my wife, there's a DC thing called Superhero Girls, like they make them go back to high school. This looks like they would have done that with Felicia Hardy. But hey, if she's a good character, who cares? Um, her sprite looks a bit different, so it is what it is. But those are the two characters that we're going to get dropping tomorrow. Um, Again, I don't know much about them, but what I would say is they have never ever dropped two divination characters at the same time. So I would expect one of these two characters to be a divination, and I would expect the other one to be a standard factional unit, okay? Now, going with the way that this game works, the way that they have always pushed out the updates to kind of match what we initially have had i think the next factional unit so we had flame then thunder and previous to that was wind i think the next factional unit would be wind so one of these two units i would expect to probably be a wind unit okay um, again, they might break tradition for, for that and it might actually just be something completely different. But so far, they've done Wind, Flame, Thunder, Wind, Flame, Thunder, and this is going to be the next one after that. So it, it would make sense for it to be Wind again. So we need to wait and see, but which of the two would they make the Divination unit versus the Factional unit? Going again by sort of a, the history of all the other characters in the game. So far, whenever they've released an alt, if the character, for example, Rose, was available as a divination unit, the alt was also a divination unit. So, Gen being a master divination unit, I'm thinking that he will probably be the divination, the divination unit and Elena will maybe be the factional unit but obviously they can flip that just going with what they've done so far that is kind of what I'm presuming there we can also see here as well what we've got coming up with regards to events okay and important stuff to take note of here so we're going to have the HWA we're going to have Boodle Battle we're going to have them basically running for the next week or so, week or two weeks. Then we're going to have Path of Trials, Lucky Ball, Street Art, City Pursuit, Trial of Justice and Secret Training. Now, if you look 
The way that the events work, apart from Path of Trials, which always lasts a little bit longer, all of this stuff is going to finish a week before the countdown finishes. Okay? Now, or, or is it actually? Let me just work this out. There's 14, 21. No, it finishes around about the same time as the countdown. But anyway, out of that, the only what I would call playable content would be the HWA. And that's going to end on the 14th. So that's going to end in two weeks' time. Now, traditionally speaking, how the game works is you would get these characters coming out. So usually it's one, mind you, but you would get this character coming out. After a week, you would get the countdown for the new event. And then the following week, the new event would start. Okay, now that would mean if they were to follow that pattern, the new event would start one week before the countdown was to finish. I still think that might happen. Let me explain. If you think back to the half year anniversary, that is pretty much what happened with Elena. The Elena event happened, but it actually wasn't classed as being part of that anniversary event. And then the anniversary came along, it brought its own degree of content and stuff like that. I still think that could happen. So I think there is a chance that in seven days from tomorrow, we might get a surprise countdown coming for a unit, which would kick off the event for the limited character a week before the anniversary countdown finishes and then during the anniversary we would still get a full bloodied event okay i don't think that would detract from that in any way shape or form so i do think that going with the list of content we've got here going with the history of the game i don't think they're going to give us two and a bit weeks of nothing so I think there's still a strong chance that in just over a week's time we might get a countdown for a new event which will mean obviously a new starlight, 15 new tickets, all that kind of good stuff that everyone likes. So I do think there is a good chance of that. With regards to the two units up above, um, how you approach these units is obviously entirely up to you. What I would say is if one of the two of them are standard units, good. They're reasonably easy to go for. We'll find out tomorrow what they're like in their trials and stuff, which obviously I'll have a video out for, first thing, like I always do. Um, but I will not be passing judgement on them because I do not like to do that, just in case there's some hidden trick or whatever to them. What I will say is the wind unit, I would expect us to... I'm trying to think what we got for wind. The first wind unit we got... Who was it? I can't even remember who they were now, to be completely honest. One of them was um, Street Poisoned. She was the first one. Street Poison was the first one that we got that was a wind unit. Then the other wind unit was... Can't remember. Somebody, somebody can tell me in the comments down below. I cannot remember who... Oh, it was... El Fuerte. So he was the second wind unit that we got. And I think you would class him more as... I don't think you'd call him a support. He wasn't a support. He wasn't a shield. But he wasn't a DPS. So... If Elena is going to be the new wind unit, just going with her look and stuff like that, I'm guessing she would be like an assassin. And... Maybe she'll be a assassin DPS. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. Um, we don't really necessarily need another DPS for wind. However, as many of you people will know, Adon is kind of unbalanced when it comes to the flame faction, meaning that when it comes to flame faction versus every other faction they are skewed a lot more with regards to the amount of damage that you can put out using flame they've got to balance that out and the only way they can balance that out is by introducing new dps characters for the other factions maybe elena will be that i don't know 
Um, I've not went over her kit, but I guess it's possible. But I don't even know if she's going to be the factional unit. It could quite easily be Gen. I think personally I would rather it was Elena because I don't like the look of Gen's character. Um, if you look at his face, if you zoom in and stuff like that, you'll see that, I don't know, he kind of looks a wee bit like a, a bit of a zombie. I mean, maybe he's just old, right? But I think maybe he's just old, but he kind of looks zombified to me and I don't like his design as much. Um, whereas I think that Elena's got this kind of Marvel aesthetic to her, which I like Marvel, so I think that's really what it is, to be honest. But yeah, that is what we've got coming out tomorrow. So, two new characters out of nowhere. Um, they're not limited. At least, I've got no reason to think they're limited. We don't have a countdown or anything, so they should just be characters that are in Divination and in the standard pool. I think you have obviously been given a lot of factional tokens, arcade tokens, and we're going to be getting more... Um, blue arcade tokens, the factional ones. You could use them now. You could wait to the anniversary to see if they introduce something special. It's entirely up to you guys. But you have a good shot at these two tomorrow. Um, again, even just going with the way that the trials are worded, this is not necessarily anything that we can take as a guarantee. But if you look at previous trials, when you've had a divination unit, and you've had a standard unit coming out at the same time when they put the description to say that they're coming um, I can't remember who Adon came along with Adon came with someone else, right? but the other unit was the headline unit and Adon was like the secondary unit they tend to word it that way so the, the headlining, the big unit they put on the top line and then on the line below that they put the the secondary unit, which would be your factional unit. They worded it that way as well, so I do think that if one of these two are factional, which they most likely will be, I think that Elena is probably going to be the unit that they add in to the factional pool. Take what you want from that, a bit of speculation on my part, but just taking everything they've done in the past, it does totally seem like that is what they're going to go, what they're going to go with. Because, I mean, even if People were trying to argue, oh, it's um, it's alphabetical. T for Taoist comes after S for schoolgirl. G for Gen comes after E for Elena. So it can't even be alphabetical. So it must be the headlining unit at the top, like they've always done, the factional unit down below it. So I'm thinking strongly with the evidence there that Elena is probably going to be a factional unit. So that's good news. Very good news. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this? I think that I might have quite a few wind tokens. I don't. I've got 19. Yeah, so this might not go as well as I would hope, but we'll see how it pans out tomorrow. Anyway, guys, I've been Heezink. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this? Has it caught you off guard? Are you excited? It'll be interesting to hear. I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace.